Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a custom checkout page template like this using JetWoo Builder. So let me just jump into the back end and show you how easy it is to set up. The first thing I recommend you do is head over into your Crockle block. Then right here it says Jet Plugin Settings. Just go ahead and click that. And on the left side, find the one called JetWoo Builder and then expand this one called Widgets. And so these are all the widgets that the plugin JetWoo Builder is going to have enabled. In this uh, case, what we're going to be covering is the checkout widgets. So here are the uh, seven different widgets that this plugin is going to have. So you can turn on or off any of these widgets right here. So now that you've done that, let's go ahead and start to develop the page. What we need to do next is now go underneath your Crockle block and where it says Woo Page Builder. Go ahead and click that. And then inside of here, this is where we're going to create the checkout template. So just click this button where it says create new template. And up here where it says this template is for, make sure that you choose this button right here called checkout. And then let's just give it a name like checkout template, something nice and simple. And then just click create template. And once you do that, you're going to see that this tab over here called jet wheel builder is going to be enabled. So the seven widgets are right here. They're going to have the word checkout in front of it. So checkout additional form, billing form, coupon form, any of these ones that say checkout. This is what we're going to be focusing on. So in this case, let's do a split layout. So I'm going to click the flex box and let's just do a split layout like this. Go back to your widgets and on the very left one, let's go ahead and just click and drag in the checkout billing one. And then underneath the billing widget, let's click and drag in the shipping form. So if you are shipping something, the user is going to have the ability to check this box and then it's going to expand just like that on the page. But let's first jump into the billing and show you some of the cool features that uh, Crockle Block has. So the way it works with WooCommerce is by default, this is how they have the form. But what's really nice about Crockle Block is they give you this option right here where you can do customize your fields. So they're going to give you the ability to actually click and drag your fields around. So if you want to have it where, let's say your company name is at the very top, you could just go ahead and click and drag that and then it will refresh the page. But let's go ahead and move that back down here. And then inside of each one of these, um, what's really nice is they give you uh, an option to change how wide you want these things. So you can change it where the first name is only going to be that wide. Then you can make the last name like this. So you have a lot of different flexibility within here. And just like any other Elementor widget underneath style, you're going to have all of the options to change how your header is going to look. Um, your labels, so anything right here where it says like first name, you can change the asterisk color, all the fun stuff right here. And then underneath fields, this is a pretty important one. You're going to want to be able to adjust how wide you want any sort of gaps in between. You can change how much of a row gap you need in between all of your forms. And then of course you can change like the background color, you know, kind of just like standard styling stuff that you expect with an Elementor widget. And then if we go down into the shipping widget, it's basically exactly the same as the billing one right up here. You're going to be able to change how you want your fields to be laid out and the styling is basically all the same. Now let's go ahead and add some more widgets. Uh, so this one right here, additional form. So you may want to have this one on the side where it's kind of like order notes. So the user is going to be able to leave some notes for you. So, you know, special uh, note about delivery or anything along those lines, you could put that in here if you want. And then one of the more important ones is you may want to pull in the checkout order review. So this right here is going to give you a list of all of the items that you have in your cart. You got your subtotal and your main total. And then of course, you always want to make sure you have a checkout payment. So without this, the user is not going to be able to actually pay for the product. So you're going to want to go ahead and just click and drag in that. And you're going to be able to style up, you know, the headers and the background colors and anything along those lines all within here. So if you don't like that background color by default, you can always change it right here underneath your background color. And then what's nice is they give you a little warning right here. So if you start to change your background color within here and it's not updating, there's a possibility that it's either a theme or some other plugin is kind of overriding this setting. So you may need to, you know, access your theme and make sure that nothing like that's enabled. And of course, since this is using Elementor, you can pull in any sort of, you know, other widgets in here to make it really like customized. So if you just want to pull in like an image of the different uh, payment processors you may take, you can pull in something like that. You can add headers, you know, you can do anything on this sort of template right here. 
And you may have noticed I left out two of these widgets right here, uh, the one called Checkout Coupon Form and Checkout Login Form. Let me go back into the uh, demo I showed you in the beginning of the tutorial. You see this big chunk up here where it says Checkout? So this is the coupon widget that I just showed you, and then this is the login widget. The way it works is WooCommerce is splitting up your checkout page, like on the back end, two different ways. It's splitting it out with like this top header section, and then this is like your main content section. So this is what we're covering in this part of the tutorial. But once we assign this in WooCommerce, then what we can do is jump over into the top right here. So these need to be like two different templates inside the system for it to render out correctly. And then these two widgets, the coupon one and the login one will only work up in this area correctly. And of course, you don't wanna bring in these other widgets that we just created into this top section. It's just not gonna work correctly. This is all like a WooCommerce backend coding thing. So there's really nothing you can do. This is just how it's laid out. But let's jump back into our page tutorial and get this assigned to WooCommerce. Once you're happy with your layout on your template right here, just go ahead and hit publish. Then the next step is jump over into WooCommerce settings. And then there's this tab up here called JetWoo Builder. This is where you're going to assign any of your JetWoo Builder templates into WooCommerce. So if you scroll down into checkout, you need to make sure that this button's enabled. So where it says enable checkout, click that on, and then we're going to do checkout template and then choose the one that we just created. And remember just a minute ago, I was showing you how you need to have a different template for the top section. We're going to create that next in the tutorial, but just go ahead and leave that at default. Come down here and hit save. And now when I go to the front end of the website and hit refresh on the checkout page, this is how it's going to look. So this is going to be the section that we just created. And now you can see everything is working correctly. You can always, of course, add more padding and stuff like that to your layout. And as you can see at the top right here, this is what we're gonna customize next in the tutorial. This is gonna be where the user can put in a coupon code or up here where they can log in. First, let me show you where you can disable this if you don't need to worry about these two widgets. So let me go ahead and show you where that is inside of WooCommerce. If you go into your WooCommerce right here underneath settings, there's this button where it says enable coupons. You can turn that one off. Just go ahead and hit save. And then where it says accounts and privacy, uh, this button right here, allow customers to log in into an existing account during checkout. If you don't need that on, you can just hit save there. And now if we go to the checkout page, you can hit refresh. That's all going to go away. See right here. So now that top section, you're not going to have to worry about designing that. But let's go ahead and show you how you can add that back. And then you can have it where it's laid out exactly the way you want. And it's a pretty similar process to what we just created. So go underneath your Croco block, click on Woo Page Builder. Then up here, click on create new template. And right here where it says uh, checkout, just go ahead and click that. And let's just say checkout top template. And just go ahead and click create template. And let's go ahead and just use the flex box. And we could just do it simple like this. Let's give it a heading. So you can just pull in a regular element or heading. And just say something like checkout. Let's give that like an H1, we can center it. I'd like to add some padding up here. So let's go ahead and do a 20 top and a 20 bottom. And let's just give this whole container like a pretty light gray. So it kind of separates just as like a demo. Now what we can do is jump back into your JetWoo Builder and you can click and drag in your coupon codes right here. And then let's pull in the login form right here. So if it looks like this and you can't render it out correctly on the back end, what we need to do is just go ahead and hit publish and re-enable what we just turned off. So if I go back into WooCommerce settings, you're going to want to make sure that you enable the coupon codes again. And then if we go back into here, just go ahead and make sure you click that on, hit save. So like I said, if it's not rendering out correctly, you just need to do those steps. Go back into it and hit refresh. Now you're going to see the coupon code thing is going to appear. And then of course you can always style this up any way that you want. And let's just go ahead and keep them stacked like this. And then one little tip is you see that little like blue line at the top that by default is all pulling in from WooCommerce. 
So what's nice about these Croco Block plugins is they give you the ability to customize that color. And let me show you where that is. So if you go underneath style and where it says toggle, and if you can go right here where it says border type, if you don't want a border at all, it will get rid of that blue. But let's say you do want to keep that top color. What you can do is just go like this and just give it like a two pixel at the top. It might be more like a four pixel or something like that. And then where it says border color, this is where you can now change the border color right here. So if you're happy with, you know, just the default blue, you don't have to worry about that, but that's just where it's going to be. And then if you go underneath the coupon toggle, if you need to change out this text right here, you're going to have the ability to change out this text right here. And then when the user goes ahead and puts in a coupon, hits apply, it's going to automatically update the checkout. But let's go ahead and um, same thing down here with the login. It's basically the same features. If you need to change that line color at the top, just do the same border trick I just showed you. But let's go ahead and just hit update and assign this into your WooCommerce and make sure everything's working correctly. And just like the other one, what we need to do is go underneath WooCommerce, Settings, click on JetWoo Builder. And then if we go back down to the checkout, this one right here called Checkout Top Template. Now you can choose this one right here we just called Checkout Top Template. Hit Save. And now when I go back into the checkout page in a different window, hit Refresh. And now you can see you have the two different widgets right here. And then one little tip is if you're logged in and uh, you don't see the login widget, that's because you're already logged in. So this is an incognito window, but let me go ahead and show you how this looks when I'm logged in as an admin. And as you can see right here, I'm already logged in, so the user's not gonna see that widget, but they can still always put in a coupon, hit apply, and then it will update the total right down here. So in the next part of the tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can use Jet Theme Core and apply the same type of template to that system. So what I recommend is once you already have it built out in this system right here in JetWoo Builder, just go underneath where it says save options, this little carrot here, click on save as template, and let's just go ahead and call this checkout template um, JetWoo Builder. Just something that you can remember that that's where you built it. This is gonna save you a lot of extra steps. So go ahead and close that and go into underneath Crockle Block, your theme templates, click on add new, and then right down here, we need to choose checkout. And then the block editor, we're gonna choose Elementor. And then let's just call this the checkout and then Jet Theme Core, just so we can make sure we know which ones are which. Let's go ahead and click create. You could always click and drag everything I just did in the beginning of the tutorial, uh, you know, with your JetWoo Builder widgets, just bring them in and it should work. But in this case, I'm just gonna import the one I already created. So if I just click that button for import, and this one I just created called Checkout Template JetWoo Builder, click insert, I'm gonna hit apply. And this is how it was all laid out. So that's it, you don't have to do anything else on this page, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit update. Now I'm gonna jump back into the Jet Theme Core settings and apply it to like a page template. So go underneath uh, Croco Block Theme Builder, click on New Page Template, click on Add Condition, and instead of selecting entire, make sure you choose WooCommerce, and then we're gonna go down into the Products Checkout. Just go ahead and click Create. In this example, I'm not gonna create a header or footer. What you need to just focus on is Add Body, and just click the button where it says Add from Library. And as you can see, I have a few different ones right here. Uh, the one that we just created was called Checkout Jet Theme Core. So you can just go ahead and click Use. And then one last setting you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have disabled is if you go back into your WooCommerce settings, we need to turn off that thing underneath Jet Woo Builder. So if you follow the beginning of the tutorial, you just kinda of need to do the reverse. So where it says Jet Woo Builder, go into uh, Custom Checkout, uncheck this one where it says Enable Checkout, and just put these back to uh, default and then just hit save. And now when you go to the checkout and hit refresh, what it's gonna be doing is this is using the Jet Theme Core now template and not using the Jet Woo Builder system. So if you're using Jet Theme Core, this is how you're gonna pull off the same functionality. And that's it for this Jet Woo Builder tutorial on how to create a custom checkout page template like this. Thank you for watching.